Hi, this is Phil Hinton. Welcome to another video here on avforums.tv. We're still in Atlanta and we're here to do a training course, Steve, and uh, it's a very special one. It is indeed. It's the THX video calibration course, which runs for three days. Uh, the first day is basically um, kind of an introduction to video calibration, and the second two, de the second two days are basically full hands-on calibration training using a multitude of different screens, projectors, uh, flat panel displays, you've also got different analyzers, um, software and um, generators, so fantastic. Of course, we've already gone through the training, Stephen's done the uh, ISF as well as myself and uh, obviously we calibrate on a daily basis with the reviews, but we thought it was interesting that first of all THX invited us along to have a look yep. at the course and also compare it with, with ISF and I have to say that um, the big difference here, because I haven't done ISF level two, the big difference here is the hands-on aspect of things. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably in the um, enviable position of having actually done ISF level two. Um, not many people, I think, in the UK have so far, only a couple, a handful maybe. Um, so I can actually compare the two directly. And, and whilst ISF clearly has modelled itself upon the THX platform, uh, I think there's a lot more hands-on and certainly a lot more displays and projectors than the course I did back in February um, with ISF. Uh, and there's also two, two guys doing the training, which means you get a lot more time with them and the actual classes are smaller too. So I think ultim ultimately you get a lot more face time with the teachers and actual time ca practicing calibration, which is key because you only really learn when you do it. You can sit in the classroom for all the time in the world, but until you sit there and actually calibrate, that's the only way you can actually learn. And of course, uh, we're not the only ones on the course. So what did the other people think that were here? Uh, I thought the course actually covered a lot of uh, basic material, but it actually dove down into the science of it, which made me understand it better than other courses I'd taken. Um, I took the previous course on home theater level one. I thought it was uh, very significant, and the idea of people looking at you as a more credible source of information, um, that you're lucrative and you know what you're talking about. Um, and video calibration is one aspect of home theater, whereas an audio course is the other aspect. Um, and that's basically it. Increased knowledge. Knowledge is power applied. Knowledge is wisdom. So, and the fact that people recognize THX and they look at that as a, as a um, reference or a standard. Uh, what THX means to me is that um, I can better represent myself to my clients and that they have a recognized name that they can associate me with. My biggest fear actually was whether they would speak above my, my knowledge level and what uh, acronyms are actually uh, things that can scare people away because if you don't come in with a full set of alphabet soup, the next thing you're completely lost and going, what are we talking about? These uh, gentlemen were very good at keeping it real, at uh, you know making it... Um, understandable and uh, making me feel, feel comfortable with it. Uh, well, THX has always meant quality to me. Um, when he first came out with the first movies, the Star Wars series and whatnot, it just broke new ground in the whole movie field. And that started the trend of much better audio with movies, uh, leads to much better video and new cameras and whatnot. And so I just wanted to be a part of that and, and learn, get up to speed on all that. The course was definitely interesting helps an average person understand and helps them exceed to how to do calibrations. I, I like the course uh, because it's lots of hand-on um, versus a lot of PowerPoint, a lot of, you know, stuff like that. It, it just gives you lots of hand-on and when you start having hands-on, you, you know, you have that knowledge and you feel more confident when you go back versus if they already have is PowerPoint and you, you just kind of lecture off a book and type of stuff like that. you. You kind of, when you're in, when, when you get out and when you get back and you're trying to mess around with all the different gear and different software and stuff like that, and I think it just makes it harder. But if you have the hands-on, then you get to play around with all the gear, all the software, then you it makes me retain the knowledge better. And that's what I like about this class. It just allows me to do that. It's a three-day class that's just meant for hands-on uh, calibration techniques and study. Um, we want every person that, that's through the training program to actually be able to be competent when they're done the training program. And it's really important that they represent THX effectively and, and well going forth after the training program when they're doing installations and they're working in the field. 
Um, so we, we really work, we really focus on doing good work first and doing quality work and teaching them actually how to do this effectively and, and well prior to leaving the program. We definitely have oversight in our program. First off, to be THX certified video professional, it's a three day, not only the three day program, 85% on a, on, a, on a very stringent exam. Uh, they have to do 10 calibrations that have to be submitted to THX for approval, but actually after in the field, every time they do a THX certified video calibration, it has to be submitted to THX for approval by the, by the video team. So you've uh, heard from the trainer, Greg, and you've also heard from some of the other class attendees here and what they think about the THX course. And now that we've been through it, Steve, and uh, we've seen what, what's on offer here, I've got to say, it's really impressive. Even if you're not in the industry, you're not a custom installer, but you're just a video file, you want the best out of your equipment, you're going to learn an awful lot in this course. Yeah, definitely. You'll, you'll come away with, with an active knowledge of calibration. You'll be able to go straight into, you know, if you're a professional calibrator, straight into somebody's home and calibrate most kinds of displays. Obviously, they're all slightly different, but you'll have base information to do uh, grayscale, color gamut, uh, and, you know, and produce a really good calibration. And, of course, the, the important thing here as well is that, that this brand name behind us here is very, very valuable. Um, and they're not just going to let anybody go out there and represent the company and the company name without having thoroughly checked out their knowledge levels that they can do it. And of course they, they ask for 10 calibrations and then every calibration after that has to be sent to THX for them to certify it. Absolutely, in fact that's another difference between ISF. Uh, there's only four calibrations for ISF level 2 whereas there are 10 for um, THX. So, and every THX ca um, calibration you do after that, as you said, Phil has to be sent in for, so they can monitor your performance, make sure that you're keeping the uh, standards that they set. And clearly the reason that I did it originally, um, the Home Theatre 1 and 2, was because of the branding. The, everyone knows this brand. Yeah. And of course the important thing there is, and, and don't get us wrong, we're not putting ISF down, they do a fantastic job as well, they've been going a long time, they do lots of classes, but uh, after my ISF course, I was just kind of left to my own devices after that, and not really with, with enough confidence to, to go, if I, if I was going to go professional, to go into someone's house and, and actually calibrate that the set. Um, it actually took quite a bit of practice after the training to then put the, the theory into practice, whereas here we're putting it into practice and um, we didn't go wrong, but the, the, the guys here that haven't done it before, uh, when they, they did go wrong it was like, right, let's rewind, let's have another look and let's start again. Absolutely, Phil. Uh, I, mean, I mean, Joel has said that he's, oh, Joel Silver from ISF has talked about having a calibrators forum on the ISF website, but up to now I haven't seen that actually happen, so I think clearly he was once again trying to mimic some of the things that THX do. They have her special intranet just for people who've done this course. Um, you can only go on it if you've done this course, and there you're allowed, you know, you, you basically talk to other people, and, and if you've got a problem, you can ask them about, say, service codes, this kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's very important. Yeah, it's another resource, another absolutely. thing to go on. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, you, you buy a Blu-ray or a DVD, it's got oh. TH, THX on it. You um, buy a say TV. It, say it right. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Not as bad as a THX it's, it's, it's screaming right, room. It's right behind you there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you buy a TV, you buy a projector, it's got THX on it, you know, everyone's heard of George Lucas, everyone's heard of Star Wars, you know, it has a massive brand recognition and frankly in a competitive market that can give you the edge. Okay, so that's everything from the THX course, we hope you've enjoyed the video, hope it's given you some interest in, in possibly further pursuing a career as a calibrator or even just learning uh, the task of calibration and what is actually involved. So come back and join us for more videos on avforums.tv very soon.